Hello, my name is Ray Jackson from 8-Bit Digital TV. Today's tutorial is how to do the predator cloaking or invisibility featured in our improv skit entitled, It's Predator Time. So let's get started. Since the person or object will be translucent, you need a clean shot of the background without that person or object in it. This also means you'll need separate footage of the person or object that is either keyed, such as green screen or blue screened, roto brushed using the roto brush tool, or masked out using the pen tool. We hope to cover all three of these methods in future tutorials, but for now, we'll just move on. For our skit, we needed full body shots of Luke running by, so we chose to roto brush everything rather than using a huge green screen or masking everything by hand. So let's start out by creating a new composition. Click Composition from the menu bar up top, and then click New Composition. You can see here that you can also click Control N. Type in Cloaked for the name. Make sure it's set up with the same dimensions and frame rate as a source and or destination media. So I'm going to do 1280 by 720 at 23.976 frames per second. Now click OK. Drag the keyed footage of your actor onto the new comps timeline. Drag your background footage onto the timeline below your actor layer. The background layer needs to be 10 to 25% larger than the end result comp to handle the rippling caused by the effect near the edges. We need to pre-compose it because just scaling, positioning, or any effect or modification added to the layer here will either mess up the effect or won't produce the desired effect. Highlight the background layer if it's not already highlighted. Press Ctrl or Command if you're on a Mac, Shift, and C. Type in background for the name. Choose Move All Attributes into the new composition, otherwise it'll crop it. Check the Open New Composition checkbox so that we can go ahead and scale and position it. Now click OK. Since we checked the Open New Composition checkbox, it's going to automatically put us into the new composition. That's why the actor disappears. Right click the new background layer in the Project pane and then open the composition settings. Click the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox. Click on the value for width. Click again at the end of the value and type asterisk, which is Shift 8. 1.25 so we can make it 25 percent larger now click ok click on the background footage layer and press s to bring up the scale go ahead and type in 125 so that this is 25 percent larger just like the comp is you can also position it by clicking and dragging but if you're going to position it you need to just scale it up larger like to 150 percent and then move it around because you need it to fill this entire background click back to the cloaked comp and you'll see that the background is sized there too let's get the actor layer set up Click the keyed actor layer and then scale and position the actor layer. You can do this using either S or P or you can just use the preview window. With the keyed actor layer still highlighted, press Ctrl or Command, Shift, and C to pre-comp it just like we did the background. Type in actor for the name. Move all attributes should still be checked, so we're good there. Uncheck the open new composition this time because it's already scaled and positioned. And click OK. Alright, so everything's in place so we can actually do the effect now. Under the Effects and Presets tab, start typing Displacement. Drag and drop the Displacement Map effect from the search results down onto your background layer. Alternatively, you can click the background layer and then from the menu bar at the top choose Effect, Distort, and Displacement Map. Or you could right click the background layer and choose it from there. Though it seems it should be applied to the actor layer, it's actually the background that's getting distorted, using the actor layer as a reference for how to distort it. By default, it distorts it in reference to itself, so change displacement map layer to actor. Set horizontal displacement to luminance, which is the lightness or darkness of the layer. Set the max horizontal displacement to 55. 55. Set the vertical displacement to luminance. And set the max vertical displacement to 55 as well. Since the actor layer is just a displacement map reference, you can hide it by clicking the eyeball, and boom, predator the time. Not popping enough for you? Since we base the effect off of luminance, giving the actor layer more contrast strengthens the effect. However, like I said earlier, effects and transformations to the actor layer have to be done with a pre-comp, otherwise they'll mess up the effect or won't produce the desired effect at all. Under the project pane, double-click the actor layer to bring up the comp for it. We actually need to see the final result, not the current layer so we must engage some After Effects trickery. Click the Padlock on the Comp Preview tab to lock the preview. Right below that, click Cloaked to switch to the Comp Preview for the final result. This switches you back to the Cloaked Comp, so click the Actor tab down at the bottom. Under the Effects and Presets tab, type Contrast and apply a brightness and contrast to the keyed actor layer. Scrub, which is slide and release, the contrast value up until you like the way it looks. 
probably somewhere between 35 and 65. Let's go ahead and take one last look at the effect in motion by clicking the RAM preview button. If this tutorial helped you with one of your videos, make it a video response to this, or at least send us a link, because we'd love to see it. Don't forget to check out our improv skit entitled, It's Predator Time, and subscribe to 8-Bit Digital TV for new tutorials, skits, and more. Thanks for watching, and GET TO THE CHOPPER!